All right, students, here we go. All about cars, planning to buy a vehicle assignment. This is the Honda uh, assignment where you're going to go to their website, Honda's website, and you're going to uh, purchase a vehicle. Okay, first step one, within this assignment button, uh, you're going to get a list of five questions. Okay, let's click that. This is what it'll look like, right? Okay, you'll use the Honda Payment Estimator website link that's provided. We're about to go there in just a second. And you're going to answer these five questions when you get there. First things first, you're just going to choose a vehicle. Okay, and then you're going to, I'm going to show you, um, you know, where you, you have two options. You're going to lease it or finance it. We want to finance it, okay, which means you're going to purchase it over a period of time. And then I've got a couple of things that I want you to click. And then you're going to tell me about that pr uh, particular price uh, that shows up um, on that link. Okay, uh, so I'm going to minimize this. Go back to this uh, class feed on uh, on Edsby, okay? It's got you some instructions here we'll follow as well. But do me a favor and go ahead and launch this link now to the Honda website. This is the one you want. It's attached to the uh, uh, to the uh, assignment feed. Um, and it's also within this, uh, the link is provided within the assignment as well. So just, just click it and launch it. And it's going to take you to the uh, Honda website here. First thing you're going to do, take some time here. Okay, first thing you're going to do is scroll down and shop. Pick your car. Okay, they got sedans, coupes, hatchbacks, SUV crossovers, and then down here some minivans and trucks. Literally just pick something. It does not matter. And uh, you're going to do this assignment the very same way, regardless of the vehicle that you pick. Okay, so pick what you, what, what, what you think looks good to you. Hit calculate. I'm gonna pick this truck here. I'm a truck guy. Okay. Now, once you're in this screen here, right? Remember, we're trying to answer these five questions, right? Keep referring back to these five questions on this sheet here, right? And uh, follow these instructions here. The first thing we want to do after we chose a vehicle is we're gonna click on the finance tab. Okay. So over here, you'll see lease. And finance click finance okay now I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit we notice the uh, the price of the vehicle is thirty five thousand and twenty dollars right without changing anything or anything to it right that's how much it costs right and we have some options I could always change this to a four-wheel drive or whatever right and you, you guys can do that before you get started that's fine okay um, they also have some other custom options but anyway, once you get whatever your selection is, click finance, okay? And now we're going to talk about trying to pay for this vehicle. How are we going to do it, okay? Notice there's a little drop-down menu here, so you can basically decide how long you're going to uh, uh, have your loan for this vehicle last. Okay, it goes from 24 months all the way up to 72 months, okay? Now, back to these five questions, you'll notice that questions two through five has have different time periods, 24 months, 36 months, 48 months, and then 60. I just showed you where you would go to change that information in the uh, uh, on the Honda website, okay? You just put in the, uh, the time frame that, the, that, uh, that you're looking for to answer the question. All right, next. Up here, it says, click on the drop-down menu and change it accordingly. Okay, we did that already. In order to change the interest rate, okay, so that's basically the money that you're going to have to pay uh, the bank or, or uh, whoever finances you, right, for, for your loan. You're going to have to, when you, interest is basically paying for borrowing the money, right? Nobody gives you money for free. To borrow enough money to pay for this vehicle, uh, they're going to charge you interest. And depending on your credit rating, it might charge you a high interest rate or a low interest rate. Okay, the better your credit is, the lower the interest rate will be. The higher, you know, uh, they'll have a higher interest rate if you have a bad credit score because you're a higher risk. So anyway, I want you to see the difference between credit ratings basically throughout this assignment. Okay, uh, you'll see this called an APR, which stands for annual percentage rate. Annual, remember, means on a yearly basis. Okay, so how much interest are you going to pay per year? Okay, you, you can change that. And you'll notice in each one of these questions. I give you two interest rates, 6% and 12%, right? 
So I'm asking you to change the time period of the loan and the interest rate. And I want to know the, the price that you're going to have to pay per month. What is your monthly payment? Okay, for each of these interest rates, 6% and then 12%. Because I want you to see, like I said, the difference between having good credit and bad credit. So let's, let me show you how to change that. Okay, over here where it says APR, unfortunately, they don't have a drop-down menu. So you have to click on it. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's a little funny, right? But you go ahead and let, highlight it and little, hit uh, click 6. And you can either hit enter or it'll change automatically for you. Okay, so I'm going to do this. 24 months, right? 24 months at 6% interest rate, and this should be your your payment. But before we go ahead and write that number down, a couple more things. I want you to go down here, and I want you to make sure that where it says down payment and trade in, that both of these values are at zero. Okay, I want you to assume that we don't have no money to down, uh, put down payment, uh, which would if we did, that would lower our uh, amount that we would have to pay monthly. Or if you had a trade-in, let's say you had a used car and you trade it in, you get $2,000 for it or something like that, right? That would also help decrease the amount that you owe on the vehicle, which could you know, end up um, reducing your monthly payment as well. But we're going to start from zero. We, got, we have nothing, right? So once you got all those taken care of, you type all your information in over here, it should populate it over here, and that's the number you want to write down uh, for... for uh, 24 months at 6% for this particular vehicle that I, that I chose. Okay, I hope this helps, guys. Literally, that's all you're doing is you're just going through and you're answering all five of these questions. And uh, then you're going to uh, click the submit button on Edsby. Okay, click this assignment, this uh, submit button on Edsby and snap a picture of your assignment and send it to me through this link. All right. Simple, simple, simple. That's all you're doing here. OK, just learning about how to pay for a vehicle.